Yo, Elliot. When I turned 36 years old, I became very popular on YouTube. I was making a lot of money. I was a golden boy all around. People loved me left and right. They were traveling from all over the country just to visit me at my gym. I was at the peak. I was having a peak experience in my life. But right about the time I peaked, I began to recognize a crash. I began to notice that I was falling apart mentally and emotionally. I lost a sense of stability in my life and I didn't know what was going on. And so I discovered at age 36 that I was going through a crisis in life, a very predictable crisis time. In fact, there's a crisis that emerges in the life of men every 12 years. You might not remember your 12th year or between the ages of 12 and 15, but that's when puberty hits. And so there's a loss of an old self and the bringing forth of a new self that is an initiation through biology, a very obvious and evident one just by looking. If not given the right space, the right process, the right community, and the right eldership, leadership, that initiation process can be easily perverted. He can very easily get into gangs. He can very easily find himself being initiated through pornography and, and, and chasing pussy and using drugs and doing all these things to get some sense of ego gratification or sense of being in his life because of the confusion associated with the traversing of two stages. Things can go very wrong if the right seeds aren't planted at that time. And then an interesting thing is that I've noticed over the course of time that more men at the age of 24 show up at my door than any other age bracket. And it's because as I've experienced at the age of 24 and discovered with the men that come to me is that that second cycle of 12, beginning at age 24, sends you into a brand new cycle. Between the ages of 24 and 27, most men are lost, not sure where to go, what to do, what's up from down. That's because you're going through an initiation at age 36. I experienced it again in my life because I remember the first two, but I couldn't put two and two together to figure out this pattern of 12. But I was directed, like I said, by the grace of God to the work of Robert Moore. And so some of the things that he discovered through his studies about masculine initiation, I think that we can re-establish some of these patterns, some of these rituals, some of these ceremonies and meaning and, and practices in our modern day if they were honored and understood. All forms of ritual initiation for masculine development follow a two-step pattern with four critical aspects. The movement away from the world of the mother is step one. And atonement with the world of the father is step two. Regardless of what cycle you're going through, I propose that these always begin at the 12-year intervals. What do we have? We have 12 hours on a clock, right? We have 12 months in a year. We have Jesus and his 12 disciples. Why 12? We have the 12 zodiac signs, make it up of it what you will. This aspect of 12 is absolutely a pattern in our lives. And if you just look with open eyes, you'll see the pattern of 12 working its way through your annual, but also every 12 years of your life. This pattern of 12 is clearly emerged in my life and I watch it emerge in the life of men throughout my life. And so there's the 12 years that you're initiated into a brand new cycle, right? Think about midnight. Midnight is the end of one day and the beginning of a new one. Once that long hand passes 12, you're now in the AM situation. It's not the same day. Once you get to 12 as age 12 and then you cross over, you're no longer that same boy. Think about it, from birth to age 12, you're a boy. At age 12, there's a crossing over and it's a spectrum. That's why I say between 12 and 15, right? Between 24 and 27 between 36 and 40. And it's usually that, you know, 12, one, two, three o'clock hour that the lights turn on and then you're going into a whole different season. Yo, Elliot.